Natural makeup isn't just for off-duty days. When you fancy a change from your go-to shade of red lipstick or favorite smoky eyeshadow, a paired-back beauty look is your BFF. Think fresh, polished skin paired with flattering neutral shades to complement your complexion for the most natural look. But creating a truly fresh-faced finish can be a little tricky to achieve, unless you have our makeup artist-approved tutorials and tips, that is. Hey there, welcome back to our channel. If you want to master your most natural makeup look ever, we've got you covered. Ready to go au naturel? Let's go! Prep your skin. For a painting to look exactly how you want it, you need to have the ideal black canvas. Think of your face as a clean black canvas. Use a gentle cleanser to make sure your face is nice and clean before applying products. Most importantly, don't forget to keep your skin hydrated. A moisturizer with hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acid is a good place to start. Create a your skin but better base. Natural makeup doesn't look cakey, it looks like skin and the best way to achieve that without a bare face is with light coverage complexion products. There are many ways to create a light and barely there base that will make people question if you even have any makeup on. You can go for a tinted moisturizer as the base to gently even out your skin tone without losing its true sheen. Spot Concealer A good way to use concealer without having it settle on fine lines and looking cakey, which can instantly remove that natural glow, is to spot conceal. This simply means applying concealer when needed, so over dark circles, any dark marks you're uncomfortable with, or redness, and blending it in with a thin brush or tapping it in with your fingers. Add cream blush and highlighter. Blush adds color to your makeup look. This helps to make your complexion look more natural because your bare skin tends to have a natural rosy flush. Use a cream formula to mimic the dewy texture of bare, flushed skin. Natural skin usually has an effortless looking glow, so consider applying highlighter a vital part of the look. Apply a liquid highlighter to the high points of your cheekbones. The luminous liquid has a hydrating finish that will reflect the light, making your skin appear hydrated, well rested, and lit from within. Stay away from powder highlighters as those can sometimes emphasize texture while appearing shimmery. Fill in your brows. Natural brows are sculpted into place, not unruly, and pointing in every which way. Use a clean brow gel to sculpt your arches into place. If you have any sparse areas, use a brow pencil to create light hairline strokes to fill them in. Apply a neutral eye makeup. Opting for a natural makeup look doesn't mean that you have to skip eyeliner. Instead, simply swap your usual black liquid formula for a coffee or a caramel tone that gives a subtle definition. Try a new mascara shade. Mascara addicts, take note. If you want a fuller flutter that looks natural and enhances the whites of your eyes, brown mascara will be the new hero of your makeup bag. Using a brown tint will still give you all the plumping and lengthening power you love, but with a softer finish that perfectly complements a natural makeup look. For full, natural-looking lashes, apply mascara as you usually would, nudging the wand into the roots of lashes, then zigzagging through the tips for a glossy, even coat. Flawless! Do a dewy lip look. Finish your natural look by lighting up your lips with a dewy, glossy tint. For pink-hued lips and fairer skin, a lip oil could suffice. For dark skin, brown or dual-colored lips, Choose a lip liner in a dark hue, close to your natural lip line, and rub lips together for the most seamless blend and natural gradient. Add some hydrating lip balm for that glazed finish. So before we conclude, here's a tip. Always remember to use the right tools to do your makeup. Many expert and celebrity makeup artists recommend using your hands for the most seamless, natural makeup application. Brand owner of Jones Road Bobby Brown tells Glamour, I find it blends better into the skin and helps you better achieve that I'm not wearing any foundation look. However, if you're not keen on getting your hands dirty, then choose a really good makeup brush collection for the most seamless finish or a beauty blender for a diffused, muted blend. If you found these tips helpful, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which natural makeup look you're excited to try on. Stay tuned for more beauty insights and tutorials here on our channel.
Until next time, stay naturally beautiful.